Hey everybody, AmpReparaGuy.com, 203-892-4119. It's my phone number and my website. So, we have a AL-572 Maritron in for repair. Customer said that the high voltage meter wasn't reading properly, so I noticed one of the resistors, one of the series dropping resistors for the high voltage metering circuit or damaged. Also notice that the grids are not directly grounded in this one and it does not have the gas discharge tubes. So I have not finished diagnosing it but I figured I would go and go ahead and test his tubes. So what I have here is a TV7 tube tester. Test for mutual conductance. If I can zoom in on the meter, it's kind of hard here. So, I'm going to move it forward a little bit. So, I'm going to test each tube here. This is not a high pot test, this just tests the tube to see what the emission level is. So, I'm going to use an old Citron tube first show you what this test at. So I'm going to go ahead and carefully plug it in. I've already set all the settings to the 811 spec in the book here. 572 is basically the same. So it's higher voltage on the plate. This gives you like a rough idea, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in carefully. Two larger pins and two larger holes. Straight down. Piano you know, connection, line adjust, right in the middle. I'm up for a few seconds. Boom, it's at about, so it climbs to about 50. Okay, shut it off, disconnect, carefully unplug. Take the tube in that the customer provided with the amplifier. And carefully make sure I have this right. Yep. These pins are a little bit bigger than the other ones. Alright, very careful there. Go ahead and connect. Turn it on. Wait a few seconds. Okay, you can see that one is dead. These are used. Um, he had purchased them, but they're put some use on them. Okay, so I will shut it off. Unplug it. You grab the base. You carefully, carefully pull up as you carefully wiggle just a little bit. Man, this is in there tight. Very, very tight. Tight fit. Okay, so I will take the first one and I will place it to the side over here on the towel. Take the Second one out of the box over here, as you can see. Okay, that is out. Okay, I will go ahead and plug this one in. Once again, same procedure. Just carefully push, wiggle, and push. Okay, there we go. That is in. Connect the anode. Filament is lit. Give it a few seconds. Okay, that's at about 10. Again, about 10. We'll shut it down. Now, this is kind of boring, but just uh, showing that I test each and every tube. See, these tested okay. The next step would be for any brand tube is I, I high pot them. I go between the plate, which try out, plate in the grid, grid in the film to make sure it's safe to plug in. Okay, so that's with 572s. I, I do this test with this tester and then I'll high pot it, like I said, then 3500 Z's I just high pot. This is like, these are like 
so tight. Okay. Connected. Should the line adjust again. See, it's still in the middle. Give it a few seconds. Ten. Okay, that is number three. Shut it down. Disconnect. Carefully, carefully, carefully pull. There we go. See, I'm putting them over here next to the amplifier. Let me zoom out. You can't see them, but they're, they're on the other side over here. Okay, so now, last but not least. Careful. Go. Connect. Turn it on. Zoom in here. Once again, ten. Okay, so he needs a new set of tubes. I'm gonna go ahead and ground the grids. I will replace resistor, which I will show right now. Carefully remove this. Right you can see this one's damaged right here. Hey, I will check the SO239 connectors and uh, go through the rest of it. So, I can do up to a certain amount. You know, and then I end up, then I have to put a set of tubes in to fully test it. So, that's that. And I'll be back when it's all completed. Okay, I'm back with the completed amplifier. So, went ahead and changed those two resistors. Two brand new ones, 750K. I replaced the output SO239 connector. Wasn't making a good connection, good tight connection with the PL259, so I replaced that. The input one's fine, so brand new silver plated Teflon dielectric SO239. Cleaned the rotary switches with deoxy gold. I went ahead and grounded the grids really well. As you can see here are the old old 750k resistors this one's damaged it's open and then the old grid loading resistors and caps right here okay so added the gas discharge tubes one here one here what I do is I drill a hole through the board one, two, three, four, and I go with go through with solid number 14 wire. Really, really short connection right through the board, solder to the board, both sides, and also to the grid connection. I also compress the clips on each socket, and I clean them with the oxy gold. As you can see, it just sticks out just a teensy, teensy bit, almost flush. So it's like a fiberglass, double-sided fiberglass type board with a layer of material on it, a foil. So I also had to touch up on the solder joints on the parasitic assembly. Someone had, I don't know if it was from the factory or if someone had removed them, but they were barely tacked on. And I had to touch up on the other joints too. So took the air variables. This thing got a new set of Pentalab tubes. From Pentalabs, awesome company, great product. Uh, his old tubes, he told me he had them in for about three years, so they had a lot of use. So um, it was just time to upgrade. I mean, to uh, you know, get a new set. So upgrade to a new set. So um, that's about it. I have another amp in here. I have to work on. That's an ELADB. You'll see that, and uh, that's it. So if you need an amplifier repaired. Feel free to give me a call. It's my phone number and my website. 
thanks for watching have a great day and please like share and subscribe if you'd like to see more content I'll be starting on that that project soon when I have time lots of interesting stuff to come and please uh, send your comments I'll try to po I'll try to add more content uh, based off of suggestions um, so let me know what you want to see I, and I'll uh, respond when I have time I'm just very busy here but it'll, it'll slow down a bit once um, you know I'll have more uh, time to handle this stuff when winter comes just doing a lot of outside stuff and working outside just uh, can't really keep up on the the uh, social media stuff so okay take care ampreparegal.com 203-892-4119 73